знаете, что мы ведем работу в рамках международного сотрудничества на Международной космической станции. Безусловно, все свои обязательства мы выполним перед нашими партнерами, но решение и уход с этой станции после 2024 года принят. Я думаю, что к этому времени мы начнем формировать российскую орбитальную станцию. Я считаю, что будущее российской пилотируемой космонавтики в первую очередь должно базироваться на взвешенной и системной научной программе. The government has has not formally uh, notified the United States of their intentions uh, to withdraw from the ISS. Uh, like I said, we saw their comments, we saw the reporting on that. Uh, we are exploring options uh, to mitigate uh, the potential impacts on the ISS beyond 2024 if Russia does uh, withdraw. For our part, uh, we are we remain committed to working with ISS partners uh, to ensure the safe operation of the ISS and the on astronauts who are on board. ISS was designed to be completely interdependent or, or dependent uh, uh, on both sides. So you, neither the Russian side or the American side could, uh, could function without the other. So you can't you can't have an amicable divorce, right? It's going to be ugly. Uh, and so as as a result, we're kind of stuck together. It's not going to be easy uh, or cheap uh, to, to replace all the Russian capability with American capability in in only two years. But I do think it's possible. Thank you.